What's up everyone? So in this video, I want to show you guys my newest addition to uh, add to the smart home feature, which is a very nice energy efficient uh, hybrid water heater. So this is the brand, uh, this is from Rheem and uh, this is a 50 gallon hybrid water heater featuring the Econet um, the uh, mobile app that you can control and monitor your energy use and set up the temperature and set up the schedule and everything. So um, I already had this set up. Uh, some, uh, someone came over, the plumber came over and installed the water heater for me and re removed the old and super inefficient uh, propane water heater. So this is what it looks like. And uh, if you are wondering what is a hybrid water heater? It basically is a water heater that had a compressor on top uh, compared to just a heating element uh, built into the water tank. So this thing got a compressor and it's got a water heating element as well. It uses the water heating element um, as a emergency or when you need water really fast, really quick. So other times it just uses the compressor which is a really efficient way of uh, absorbing the heat from the environment and then converting the heat to heat up the water inside so um, this is the this is what the control panel looks like it's actually a pretty simple pretty easy control panel really not much going on you basically have the option to turn on and turn on Wi-Fi you, if it's got alarm, you have the option to clear the alarm. This is to control the temperature and this is to control the different modes that the water heater has. Uh, so if I press mode, it's got energy saver, it's got high demand, it's got a heat pump, electric mode and uh, vacation mode. And for me, I just leave it on energy saver and for me, it's more than enough. Uh, when I take shower at night and when I need to use hot water to wash stuff or doing laundry and As you can see I have the temperature set to 115 degrees Fahrenheit uh, Also enough for me, but you have the option to set it to 110 all the way up to 140 uh, Obviously the more temperature the higher temperature you set uh, the more energy that uses and uh, the higher chance of you scouting yourself and burning yourself when you have the hot water running so it's always better to set it to around 120 degrees Fahrenheit or less and because it uses a condenser on the top you have a um, a draining pan for the condensation build up so the condensation goes down all the way to a little condensation pump that I set up it's a little giant condensation pump works really great um, so the water just gets gets in here and then it gets sucked up all the way to the sump pump that I set up in the house um, so there is uh, really no condensation on the floor or anything like that um, and if you look at the energy guide look at how crazy it is because it saves um, it saves a lot of electricity compared to regular water heaters uh, per year so in the long run you definitely get your money back uh, from the money you spend to buy this uh, to buy this uh, water heater and also um, you get a most of the states gets a, a very good rebate for it so I bought it at thirteen hundred dollars and my state have a seven hundred and fifty dollar rebate plus the, uh, the federal tax income gives you a $300 credit. So pretty much this water heater is, is the same price as a regular water heater or even cheaper. And, uh, but it's just that much more energy efficient. All right, so here is a quick spec of the, uh, the water heater, the compressors, uh, ratings, and the, uh, the heating element ratings. Those heating elements, they only come up during high demand use or if you choose to have the water heater works as a regular water heater, okay? Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's a very good heater. I have this for about a week now and uh, 
really no issues and I, I find this works exceptionally well. And the included Econet app is very, very well designed. It's very, very easy to use. Um, so basically I, I rarely come down here to change any settings. I basically just open up my app and then have, uh, have the app setting up everything for me. And I can also uh, monitor the energy use of the water heater during the day. And for me, uh, it actually uses less than one kilowatts per day. Sometimes 0.7, sometimes 0.8. And if I, if I go to work and I, I actually turn the water heater off, it uses even less, okay? Um, so another thing or another concern I had before this is condenser water heater. Is able to work in the colder environment? Um, the answer is, it depends on where you put it. So over here in New Jersey, uh, the basement really doesn't get that cold during the winter time. So it's always still gonna be above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And this water heater works well above, I think I was rated at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So most definitely, yes, it's still gonna work. Uh, compared to warmer environment, it's probably gonna use slightly more energy, but it's still gonna be more efficient than a regular uh, just uh, heating element water heater, okay? So um, I'm really glad I bought this um, and it works really great even for New Jersey owners. All right, guys, so I have uh, had the water heater for over a week now and uh, finally it's, uh, it's able to generate some uh, electricity usage data. So I'm able to show you guys in the app and uh, uh, really amazing because um, right now I have the water heater set at uh, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's my preferred temperature because uh, when I'm taking the shower or when I'm washing dishes, that is a good temperature uh, that I can just uh, keep my water heater or I can just turn on my hot water without getting burned. And uh, so let's go into here and I'm going to show you guys a few things. So in the schedule section, um, there is a ability to customize the schedule uh, to your liking. So over here, the example I'm showing is my old schedule, which I have it turned off in the night and I have turned on during the daytime. And on the weekends, I just have it on at all times. However, what I found out really interestingly is um, if, if you look at the usage report right here, the machine is extremely, extremely efficient. If you um, conserve on water usage and if you don't use a lot of water, it uses very little electricity. So let me flip to the first couple of days when it was installed. So, uh, so this is September 4th, um, probably last week. And uh, as you can see, this is when I set the water heater to be uh, following a schedule of turning off in the morning time and turning on in the evening time. Um, even with the water heater turned off, it still uses some energy, very little energy, probably uh, zero, like probably 0 0.1 kilowatts um, so that's like, uh, it's, it's more like a standby mode when it doesn't really use much energy at all. And when the water heater was turned back on, it was trying to heat up to the set temperature. It uses 0 0.2 and 0 0.35 kilowatt hours of energy. And if you see the total in this day, it, it uses less than one kilowatt hour of energy, which is quite amazing for a water heater, uh, 50 gallon water heater. Okay. So, and if you look over here, so the very first couple of days I was just playing around with, uh, trying to find out the most energy efficient way of keeping the water heater, um, in its optimal, I guess, condition when I need to use the hot water. So, ah, um, and this is probably one of the days that use the most energy, which is one kilowatt hours. And that's, that's on the, what day is it? Let's check. 
I think it's one of the weekend. So yeah, this is on, on the weekend. So on the weekend, at most, it uses the one kilowatt hours. After I took a shower and I washed a lot of dishes and just, uh, so that's, that's the most it uses in my house, which is amazing. Again, it's, it's really amazing. Um, this day I, I tried to play around with the temperature setting. I set the temperature a little bit higher, I think at 120, uh, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So it does use more energy on average if you set the temperature to be higher. And uh, later on, I played around with my schedule and I actually set the water heater to be on at all times. I turn off the schedule planning. I just set the water heater to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and this is what it looks like. So it uses half a kilowatt hours energy every day on average. The other days, it just uh, like stays, uh, stays extremely low, extremely, extremely low. And so this is, uh, this is from today, I think, uh, the 13th, yes. So in the 13th in the morning time or sometime in the midnight, it turned on itself. And then uh, in the morning time, what time is this? This is like around eight or nine PM, AM. It turned on a little itself, just heated up very little bit. And then on the app itself, it also shows you a projected um, energy usage right here in the dotted line from yesterday. So this projection tells you kind of how much energy you might use today. But in general, this water heater is extremely water efficient. If you are a responsible hot water user, you would love this water heater. And even in the colder climate, uh, again, as I mentioned in the earlier reviews, even in the cold climate, your basement is uh, it's pretty much constant in terms of the temperature. So it, it doesn't get as cold uh, compared to if you install it in your garage, it might not be as efficient in the winter time, okay? But if you install it in the basement, it's still pretty efficient in the winter time where it's able to use the energy very efficiently. Um, so if you ask me if it's worth it to use a heat pump water heater, uh, absolutely, even the colder, uh, environment if you install it in a environment where the temperature is fairly controlled. So for example, um, right now I don't have to have my heater on and if the, in the winter time I have to turn on my oil heater, uh, the basement gets even more warm during the winter time. So the water heater actually uh, in theory would be working more efficiently uh, compared to uh, if you install it again in the garage in the winter time where um, it actually gets quite cold, okay? So uh, to wrap this up, the water heater is extremely energy efficient as tested by me, and I'm really glad that I made the purchase. So if you guys have any questions about this water heater, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching at this video review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe, and I should have more similar contents coming out for you guys. So thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.